reduction. Well, what we have here? Kumantan in this view. This was a quick research about the topic that you are going to listen. Today we will talk about the organization who is fighting against drug addiction and some other dangerous illnesses. Looking back to the history. In the 90s, due to the worsening economic situation and rising unemployment, Russian society faced some serious problems. These were social orphanage and the spread of significant diseases such as drug addiction, HIV infection, viral hepatitis and tuberculosis. In 1997, the first mobile point working with drug addicted people in Russia and in St. Petersburg began its work. Its purpose was to reduce the negative consequences of drug use both for society and for drug addicts themselves. It was called Harm Reduction Program. In the process of working with drug users, another vulnerable group was identified, women who provide sex services. Therefore, in 2001, a program of support to street women in St. Petersburg was launched. In the same year, the Humanitarian Action Charitable Fund was registered. Let's listen to the short talk with the development director of the fund, Alexei Lakhov. Uh, your rehabilitation is based on unique approach, mm -hmm. as I know I have mm -hmm. seen in, the, in your website. Yeah, that's correct. And how do you realize that? How do you like keep the uniqueness? Yeah, I think that uh, we approach uh, every person that uh, comes to us as a unique human being uh, mm -hmm. with his or her uh, problems and uh, it doesn't matter to us uh, whether these problems are caused by drug addiction or HIV infection or something like that. Uh, we just uh, try to solve these problems and uh, we are trying not to solve these problems uh, you know for this person we are trying to solve these problems together with this person right, and yeah. I think this is the Clear. main uh, unique point uh, yeah. that we can all and uh, the main question how the drug addicts find you what are the reasons that make them mm -hmm. uh, apply to your organization mm -hmm. well uh, basically they find us uh, via word of mouth mm -hmm. because uh, when uh, one person uh, comes to us and uh, receives a lot of services that we provide he or she uh, is asked to uh, spread information to disseminate information about us uh, and uh, due to the fact that we provide a lot of services uh, they uh, do it and uh, as for the services that, that we provide, we have uh, the so-called uh, harm reduction kits, uh -huh. we have sterile syringes, uh, we have alcohol wipes, uh, we have naloxone, this is a drug, uh, this is an overdose reversal uh, drug. And also we provide uh, services of uh, different doctors, uh, of uh, different medical services. This kind of question, what was the situation or story mm -hmm that made you surprised very much. I have been working in this field for more than 10 years, but uh -huh. uh, the story that happened uh, today, actually, it really amazed me and uh, surprised me and uh, made me sad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this uh, new beneficiary. This is a young girl. She is 20 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she has already had uh, nine pregnancies and uh, three of them were stillborn and uh, the other six uh, children she actually lost them uh, none of them lived more than two months and now she is pregnant again uh, so so she, this is her tenth pregnancy 
and she has been using drugs since uh, the age of 15 and uh, this is quite a story actually and we do, do not know what to do with her because uh, she is just uh, she refusing uh, our help no she actually has a mother and a grandmother but um, of course they can't help them. yes uh, they can't help her and their relationships are quite strained but we will try to help her in any way we can and we will try to keep uh, at least this child uh, alive because uh, she is um, on the 33rd week of pregnancy and she can uh, give birth at any moment actually and uh, another fact is that uh, she was arrested uh, and now she is uh, under uh, control yes she is under control and uh, so she will have a trial soon and so she she may get uh, to jail actually and uh, we will try of course we will try not to uh, we will try to help her uh, to provide her with a lawyer or something like that mm -hmm. because i think she she doesn't need to be imprisoned i think she needs uh, help yeah, it was first of, of all the drugs. Yeah. It, it was because of the drugs yeah. and actually the father of her uh, child mm -hmm. that she is carrying right now he is already imprisoned and uh, also for drugs right? also for drugs yeah we have this small window of opportunity to help her well no more than two weeks i think and of course we will try to do our best to help her Yes, that's and now everyone hopes for the best. Tale Shirin for Radio Jipa. Take care of yourself and loved ones. Bye.